Is that your best? It's official. You suck. You are nothing. Outstanding. Pathetic fool. Ultimate Combo. Welcome everyone to Twisted Gaming TV. Today, I'm going to show off my PlayStation 4 collection. Uh, I don't know how many games I got, to be honest with you. I never actually counted them. I kind of lost count. But, uh... It's a, it's a nice little hefty set. So let's see what we got. So first off, of course I got the, the Friday the 13th uh, collector's edition with the cool hockey mask. Pretty dope. Okay. All right, so first we got Batman. Great game, awesome game. Got the Batman, everybody loves Batman. We got the good old Fallout 76, which this game kind of got some hate uh, when it came out. A lot of glitches and stuff, but still a good game. I like it. Uh, Black Ops 3, Collector's Edition. It's one of my favorite Call of Duty games. I thought it was pretty good. It was much harder than the other Call of Duty games though. Then we got Black Ops 4, Collector's Edition. Of course, I'm not going to show all the other crap that went with it because I've showed that before. Uh, we have one of my favorites, Everybody's Goth. Pretty dope game. Also have the VR version, which is sick. That is a sick with the PlayStation VR. Pretty dope. Then we got Destiny. And then we have Destiny the Taken King. Now, I still haven't played this one yet. This one's from, uh, what was this? Limited Run Games, Prison Boss VR. It's a VR game. Haven't played that yet, so I can't really say anything about that. That dang, dang disc is loose, ain't that? Then I have the Destiny uh, Collection. Now some of these games I haven't played because I have so many of them and you know, you can't play five minutes in one game and then open another one play. I, I just don't do that. Uh, I need to play this game too. Trackmania Turbo. Heard that was a pretty awesome game. Bought it about five months ago, so I haven't played it yet. But I'll do videos on them all soon. And we got the good old Battlefield one. That was a good one. Now, I don't know how to say this goofy thing. I just bought it for the hell of it. It's a limited run game. It's a fighting game, so that's probably why I bought it. Kihoimi Enubu Ryu Riri. Whatever. Um, so that's a fighting game. Looks pretty, pretty cool. I have to do a video on that soon. So many games come out, you know. Need for Speed Rivals. That was an okay game. I didn't really like it like the other uh, Need for Speed games. Carmageddon, Max Damage. Uh, still haven't played this yet. Hmm, I'll be darned. Sometimes I just buy games and don't even play the crap yet, you know? Got a lot of uh, games to play in this, uh, this coronavirus era we're living in right now. That, imagine that. Call of Duty World War II. Um, I really like that Call of Duty a lot, to be honest with you. A lot of people didn't like it, but I liked it. I liked the, you know, the scenario that, you know, it was pretty, pretty awesome. Now here's another cool golf game, because I like golf games and stuff. Um, the Golf Club. Man, those graphics on that game were bad, man. I like it a lot. And then we got, Drive Club VR for the PlayStation VR. Pretty sick game. Those graphics are crazy, man, when you have the goggles on and you're driving. I mean, 
I get kind of seasick though on the VR after about two hours of playing. I gotta shut that down or I'll throw up, you know? I can't stomach it for some reason. Battlefield 4, I actually liked Battlefield 4 better than um, Battlefield 1. I like this one a lot better. MXGP. Uh, not really into mo motocross, but I bought this because it was cheap, so whatever, you know. Dead or Alive 6, really good fighting game. Enjoyed this one a lot. Um, but I like the, what I like the best out of that one though was um, Dead or Alive 5, uh, last round. I like that one a lot better. I don't know why, I just did. The gameplay I enjoyed. Uh, better. Uh, Soul Calibur 6. Great game. That's a good fighting game. Graphics are just pretty much just like the original, of course, you know, updated. But uh, very good. Um, Trials, Trials Fusion. Uh, I had this on the Nintendo Switch. That's why this one's not open, but I played it on the Nintendo Switch. And it's really good game, but you want to you want to fight somebody after you play it because this game pisses you off. I mean, it makes you mad, man. <laughs> it's, it's pretty tough, but fun game, good challenging. King of the Fighters. I can't really, I always get confused with these freaking um, Roman numerals. I don't even know what version this freaking thing is. King of the Fighters, maybe Seven? I don't know. Somebody had to correct me on that. I can't read Roman numerals. Good game. Tekken 7. I've played it. This one's just not an open copy. I have two of them. Uh, and I don't know why. But uh, anyways, yeah, really good game. Really good game. Call of Duty Infinity Warfare. My most hated Call of Duty game I've ever played hated this game it's I didn't like it another one I haven't played yet Far Cry New Dawn a lot of people said it was just um kind of same as the one before this but they just you know um I guess remapped a hill I don't know you know how people talk crap Rush of Blood well until dawn Rush of Blood uh, very creepy game for the VR. I mean, that was that was a creepy game. Scare the hell out of my wife. That was pretty pretty awesome. The first tree, another limited run game. I uh, haven't haven't played this either, but it looked like a, a pretty game where you're this. Looks like a. I don't know what that is. Uh. Just how stupid I am. Uh, I don't know. You're either a dog or a wolf or something. I don't know. Maybe you go look at all the pretty trees or something. Whole new world. Still haven't played this, and probably not because it looked cool when the cover when I bought it on limited run, and then I saw the goofy graphics on the back, and it's like, yeah. So that'll maybe I'll sell that. Battlefield Five. It's a good game. Really good game, even though it's not open. <laughs> Doom uh, VR, uh, another game I haven't played either. Uh, I mean, you know, you gotta pick and choose, you know. Call of Duty Ghosts, uh, I don't know how many people actually like this game, but I liked it a lot. Uh, I thought it was a good Call of Duty, and I'm big on Call of Duty. Even though I hadn't even played Warzone on the uh, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare, uh, I still haven't got to play that yet. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, didn't like that game. Uh, too, you know, futuristic crap. Batman for the VR, still haven't played this one either. Um, you know, I like the VR, but I don't like all the dang, the extra box and the freaking wires, and then you gotta have the controllers charged, and 
wears me out. Uh, PlayStation VR Worlds. Uh, that was pretty sweet. It had it had a few games on it, and I enjoyed that, especially the the London Heast. That was a that was a pretty pretty dope game. Battlefield Hardline. Uh, didn't like that Battlefield. Didn't like that one at all. Far Cry 4. Uh, really good game. I think I, um, I think I played maybe half of it, and then I just stopped. Because, you know, another game comes out, and I buy it, and I start playing it, you know. Here's the first Street Fighter V before the Champion uh, Edition came out or whatever. So I like this, but I, I like the Champion Edition better just because all the characters are on there and all that. And people are going to hate on me on this one, okay? I also got Spider-Man when it was on sale, and I still haven't played it. Yeah, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. Don't hate on me. And then got this at, uh, I want to say, PlayStation Days of Play. I'm thinking I got this one, The Last of Us. Still haven't played this one either. You know, just a rotating deal. You're going to hate me on this one too. Days Gone. Uh, I still haven't played this either, you know, but I uh, heard it was a really good game. So, I mean, I'll get to it. You got a big backlog of games, you know, I got to play, especially this one. Tetris Effect for the VR. Always love Tetris, and this is a virtual reality one, and I still haven't played this either. And they'll be hating now, okay? Uh, Infamous Second Son, great game. I did play this, a uh, really good game. I like it a lot. That's a, that's a real good game. And not knowing it, but I also bought a, a PlayStation Hits version too, and I forgot I already had it. Is that stupid? NBA 2K Playgrounds, bought this game, still haven't played it. I do need to try it out though. Uh, it has that cartoon NBA Jam kind of look to it. So that's why I bought this game, I thought, Thought it'd be fun to play, just haven't got around to it. And then the new Samurai Showdown. Um, I really like this game. It's, the graphics are get, the gaff, the, gra bleh, the graphics are great, and it's very very fun to play that. I think I did a video on it on the channel. Uh, Division Two. I know, I know. Haven't played this either. Haven't played this either. Heard a lot of good things about it, though. Watch Dogs. It's another one I haven't played. I know I need to stop buying these games and, and playing them, you know? Yeah, it's just kind of it's just kind of hard, you know? I can't play 20 hours a day, you know, because I have family and I have wife and kids and stuff, so, you know, I gotta give them time, too, you know, so I gotta pick and choose. Here's another limited run games to the top. This one's a VR game. I uh, haven't tried this out yet, but heard it was pretty awesome, so I had to have that. I don't even know why the hell I bought this. Here's another limited run games, A-Train Express. It's like a, a, a train simulator, uh, which looked pretty cool, so I'll have to try that sometime. Stick Bold, another limited, limited run game. Uh, I haven't played this either, and it's, it's like a dodgeball type game, which I'd probably enjoy that, but I haven't played it yet. And now for the big dog, my favorite game in the world. Grand Theft Auto V, baby. Mm-mm-mm. By Rockstar Games. That's my, that's my baby right there, okay? Mm. Love me some Rockstar, baby. And one of my other favorite games. You ready? Wreckfest. Yeah. That is a game right there, buddy. Woo, man, that game. Woo. If you haven't played Wreckfest, like I splattered all over my YouTube channel, this is the game for you, dudes. That's a good game, man. Good game. Oh, and if you seen my last video, which didn't get any views it got like 60 views and that's we hate now okay dragon ball fighter z uh 
that it was the video before this one uh, that I did a review on it. Really fun game. You know, it um, it's it's not like any other fighting game. It's it's pretty awesome. Uh, graphics pretty dope too. Good old Mortal Kombat X. Super awesome game. You know, almost every Mortal Kombat's a great game, you know. I mean, if you don't own every Mortal Kombat on the planet, you're crazy. Because I, I love all Mortal Kombats. Love me some Ed Boon, baby. Mortal Kombat 11. Super good game, man. That's a, that's a great fighting game right there. Graphics are superb, man. Gran Turismo Sport. I haven't played this one yet, but <clears throat> I played all the past Gran Turismos like on PlayStation 1 and 2 and, and 3 and crap, but I haven't played this one yet, but I really want to. I just bought this one. I think I got it for like 10 bucks. So we'll play that. Always been a Gran Turismo fan. Um, and then recently I got this uh, Yakuza 6. Now, I never played any of these games right here, but there's probably like six or seven of these freaking games. Um, and the graphics look pretty cool. The, the settings in the city look pretty cool. And you know, you can fight people and stuff. It, it looks really awesome. So I'm gonna have to play this one really soon. I'll do a video on the YouTube channel with it. Recently bought that. And I used to play wrestling, wrestling games on the NES and Super NES and Nintendo 64, but I haven't really played a wrestling game lately. You know, so I was like, what the hell, you know? Since we're in the coronavirus era, I was like, well, I'll, I'll try this, you know, W2K20 uh, wrestling game. So got that one for like 20, 26 bucks, I think. And I always liked wrestling games. They were a lot of fun, but I don't know how the new ones are, so we'll see. And then comes to what I said a while ago, Street Fighter V Champion Edition. Really great game. A good Street Fighter fighting game, love it. Need for Speed Heat. Really fun game, I did do a video uh, maybe a month ago on it. Um, it's, it's pretty good though. I need to get back to playing this. Call of Duty. Modern Warfare. It's the new Modern Warfare that's, I mean, the new Call of Duty that's out right now. Really super game. Uh, really enjoy it a lot. Uh, I haven't played it in a few months, so I need to get back on it. Death Stranding, collector's edition, of course, uh, with the, the baby. Um, really good game, weird game, crazy game. But really like it. I haven't did any videos on it, so maybe that'll be in the future. And then, I don't know who on my YouTube channel told me about this next game, but um, they recommended it to me. So I was like, hell, I'll go on Amazon and buy it right away. Haven't played it yet, but I'll do some videos on it. Uh, it's the makers of Wreckfest. Banja, Edge of Control HD. I wanna say, Somebody told me this was a remake or something. Maybe it was on a, maybe it was on PS2 or PS3 before, I'm not sure, but updated graphics or whatever, so I have to try that out sometime. Another limited run games by SNK. Uh, this one has three game, no, five games on it. A few fighting games, some side scrollers and stuff, so I'll have to, I'll have to do that sometime also. Love me some fighting games. Now here's what I was talking to you uh, about the London uh, Heast or whatever on the VR, Blood and Truth. They actually made the game and this is it. Um, still haven't played it yet though because I haven't broke out the VR but heard it's a really good game though. Everybody's Golf VR. Now this golf game is sick on the VR, I mean. They have a course where there's like dinosaurs around and stuff and one will growl, uh, growl at you and you'll look and you'll be like, geez, you know, this thing's standing. I mean, it's pretty, pretty dope game. If you have a VR ch and you like golf, check out Everybody's Golf VR, pretty dope. Firewall Zero Hour for the VR. Now I played this for 10 minutes and I had to cut that thing off because, boy, I got dizzy in this game where 
you know, you turn around and shoot, and you got all these people coming at you, and you're just, oh man, that made me dizzy as hell. I couldn't play that damn thing. Flockers, just kind of like lemmings, um, you know, but with sheep. Very bloody game. Uh, I think it only came out overseas, uh, so I got the European or whatever copy of it. But they're all uh, regional, regional foot free. So you know you can play it on any PlayStation. Pretty dope game though. Pretty hard though. Here's another one. This is another limited run game. Sir Lim Three. This is another game that I bought. It was a dope cover, you know. But then you know it has the goofy graphics and stuff, and I was like, yeah, you know. I don't know. Maybe someday. Now this game is another limited run games that I want to. I want it so bad, so I bought it. It's called Serial Cleaner. Uh, it's basically where you um, you clean up a crime scene, I think, and and you don't and you try to not get caught by the the cops or whatever. Uh, it's pretty cool. Step into the polished shoes of the cleaner, a professional crime scene cleaner for the mob. So that's pretty cool. Now this game, you know, you know, you can only get on eBay probably now for too much money. You know, those limited run games, once they sell out, cause you know, they're limited or whatever. Um, you know, you got your people on eBay that just, you know, jack that price up from hell. I probably paid like um, $34 for this game. It's probably 70 or 80 on eBay right now. Stupid. Uh, Worms Battlegrounds and Worms WMD. Uh, still haven't played it yet. Um, like I said, I gotta pick and choose because you know I'm not in the game room all the time. You know, don't ever think you know when you watch my channel that I'm up in this game room eight hours a day. You know, it's probably only a few hours a day because I got kids and a wife. You know, I gotta spend time with them, so can't you know. I'm not in my mom's basement, you know, and camp and can play for, you know, 30 hours a day. I mean, which would be fun, but yeah, I can't, I can't, you know, be up here that much or, you know, I might go out of my mind, you know, cause I miss my family. But uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. I wanna, you've seen the game room, so I wanna do more in depth uh, of my collections. You know, I can show this game room to you all day but you won't even see what is on that shelf. You know, from a distance you will, but what games does he have? You know, what games does he have? So that's why I want to start doing videos. So you've seen the PS4 collection, and next I'll do like a, a Nintendo 64 collection, uh, PlayStation 1 collection, uh, PS3 collection. I can show you my controller collection. I'm probably gonna do uh, Rockstar Games collection because I got a lot of Rockstar games man so uh, uh, hope you enjoyed the video please comment like and subscribe it helps out the channel a lot if you hit that like button and you throw a comment hey it helps a lot and if you like the video so much and you want to help me out even more share the video on social media or something you know I'd really appreciate it anyways thank you for watching Twisted Gaming TV hope you enjoy your weekend Stay safe out there and stay corona free. Later.